Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you just a really quick flip through of my chemistry binder. So this is the binder that I keep uh, all of my notes and worksheets and sometimes assignments from the uh, IB higher level chemistry class that I take at school. So uh, from the outside it's just a plain old green binder, nothing special about it. I haven't even taken this tag off yet. And um, it's just a plain old green binder. The lighting in here is a little weird so it looks kind of greenish blue, but trust me, it's nice and green. So, let's open this up and, oh, well, uh, on the first tab over to the left over here, I have um, a chapter from the newer version of the textbook that we're currently using. Uh, our school hasn't provided us with the newer versions of the textbook. So we're still using the old version, and that's fine, it's a really good textbook, but there are certain chapters like this one where uh, it doesn't cover all of the new criteria, so my teacher just uh, posted the chapter online and then let us um, print it off the internet. And so there's that, although I need to hole punch it and actually put it in my binder because as you can see, this has ripped, so that later. And uh, right here you can see I have uh, my course syllabus so it basically just outlines all the topics that we'll be studying throughout the year. Uh, some pretty basic stuff and then some obviously higher level um, units as well but nothing too bad. And then continues on the back. So in this pocket right here I've just got worksheets, um, there's this thing called group four that you have to do for IB science and that's something that I have to do this year. Uh, more worksheets, 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 uh, assignments, worksheets, worksheets, you get the idea. Get in there. All right. Uh, next tab. So, nothing in this tab over here, but this is, um, oh, what could you call them? They're like um, chapter outlines almost. So, they have, uh, you have the topic at the very top. So, this one is stoichiometric relationships. And then uh, down the list, you have. Um, different things that you need to understand pertaining to the topic. So for example, the essential idea up here reads, physical and chemical properties depend on the way in which different atoms combine. And so that's like the overall idea and concept of that um, subject. And then uh, the first understanding is, atoms of different elements combine in fixed ratios to form compounds which have different properties from their component elements. So basically it's just saying, um, it's going a little bit further into detail about what the uh, essential idea was, which was talking about physical and chemical properties depending on the different ways in which atoms and molecules can form compounds. And that understanding was talking about how those different elements can, um, they combine in very specific ways, which is what gives us our known compounds. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm not intending this to turn into a chemistry lesson, but you get the idea. So, and then um, this is just kind of like a, a cheat sheet almost. Just it has lots of facts about the topic. So that's also for stoichiometric relationships. Um, more understandings, more cheat sheets, understandings, understandings, cheat sheets. Yeah, you get the idea. Sometimes they'll have diagrams, which is cool. And then in this pocket right here, I have 
flashcards that I made for organic chemistry uh, last semester. And so they're really nice and pretty and I like going over them. And then these are just practice equations and answer sheets that my teacher handed out to us throughout last semester. Nothing, nothing too major going on in there, but some really helpful material. And then that's an empty pocket. I had stuff in here, I can't remember what, but uh, I took it out because I didn't need it, so I threw it away. And then this last tab was meant to be for like labs, because I was gonna put all of my old um, lab reports in here. Uh, but I never really got them back, so it kind of just became a bit of a space where I put, like, um, important papers. So, like, things that don't necessarily pertain to any kind of topic or subject, but they're just... Uh, how can I better explain this? Think of it like this. This is a lab investigation guideline, and so there's not really, it doesn't pertain to any topic necessarily, but it's just something that you really need for chemistry, if that makes any sense. And then that sheet's for our internal assessments, which I still need to start, but I haven't. So, yeah. And uh, nature of science reflection stuff. Uh, something, uh, the worksheet for a lab that we did, more worksheets, and that's about it. So, yeah, that's everything I have in my chemistry binder. Let me just get this back in here real quick. Anyways, that, ladies and gentlemen, is everything that I have in my chemistry binder. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a quick one than I've done previously, but uh, regardless, I hope this was enjoyable for you to watch. I hope that maybe I helped you figure out how to organize your things a little bit better, despite the fact that I'm not quite necessarily the most organized person, but I do, pre I, do um, I would like to think that I am far more organized than I was in the past. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye!